Oh, hi, Allure. I had no idea you were coming. I'm Emily. Welcome to my makeup tour. Because makeup is my job, I have a really large and expansive collection. Skin tone, ethnicity, gender, it doesn't matter. I have to have something for everyone. For my own personal collection, I keep it pretty simple. I kind of like to do the same thing every day, so it's really not that crazy. In my bedroom, I have this chest of drawers that I keep the bulk of my collection in. And then in the bathroom, I have all my stuff that I use personally for myself. And in my kit, I have everything pretty neatly organized for all of my professional jobs. Today I'm really excited to go through all my products, show you some of my favorite ones, and maybe rediscover some that I might have forgotten about. The first categories are skincare, face, lips, and eyes. So skincare is really important and it's something a lot of people overlook, especially wearing an SPF moisturizer during the day. One of my favorites is this Dermalogic Dynamic Skin Recovery. It has SPF 50. I still get carded and I'm 28 years old. So I owe it to Dermalogica and genetics, I guess. So these are all Kevin Aquan Central Skin Enhancer foundations. The tiniest drop will actually like cover so much so you can really do that thing of like sharing them out with moisturizer or really building them up. I use them as concealer, I use them as tattoo cover up. Like you have to really know what you're doing with this or else you'll look a little bit crazy, but they are such amazing products. So this might not be a secret, but I feel like they aren't talked about enough. I love the Sephora store brand liquid lipstick when I do need that matte long wear look. They are still a little bit satiny, but they don't transfer, they dry beautifully, they don't give you that cakey, cracked, like ultra drying effect. I think these are the best liquid lipsticks on the market. All right, so let's talk about eyes now. I don't wear a lot of bright shades when it comes to makeup. If I'm going out like to a fun concert or just a festival or something where you can just be a little bit more playful, I like to use a liquid liner in a bright color. This one is this amazing kind of matte green shade from Dior. I guess this just depends on my mood. The next categories are body, hair, nails, and tools. So, body. So here's another little kind of, I guess, industry secret. Dior Air Flash is actually meant to be a face foundation, but I like to use it on the body, especially the legs, any place that needs a little bit of coverage. If you have varicose veins or maybe your legs are just a little bit uneven, you can spray this on, you can buff it out, kind of like pantyhose in a bottle. My hair has been quite the journey. I used to straighten it all the time in high school, but over the course of the years, I have learned to embrace it. I haven't straightened it in years. So whenever I wanna do kind of a slicked back look, obviously you can tell it takes a little bit of work to tame this down. And one of my favorite products is Cream of Nature Argan Oil. You can buy this at any drugstore. And I usually use a toothbrush to smooth down the edges. A funny story, one time I was traveling with my boyfriend and he saw this and was like, why is your toothbrush black and I had to explain to him that it was not my toothbrush it was for my hair I don't really do a lot with my nails but I do use a cuticle oil every night or I try to I keep it on my bedside table so that I remember it's like moisturizing your fingertips everything needs moisture moving on to tools as you can see I have a big bundle of makeup brushes here. I'm really into Sigma brushes right now, but I kind of have a really hodgepodge collection. Some are pretty expensive, some are from a paint store. Another important tool for my own hair is a hair dryer with a big diffuser like this. This is an amazing GHD hair dryer. This is what's gonna give me the curl and the volume and I kind of like scoop it all in and let it flow through my hair and I build it up and I shake it out because I like really big hair and this is what helps me achieve that. And now three of my favorite products. So we've talked about a lot of my favorites, but these three are kind of new discoveries to me. So the first one is this Fenty Beauty, go Rihanna. 
Universal Mattifying Powder. So this just has a really silky texture. A lot of translucent powders can be a little bit chalky, a little bit cakey, but this is just really silky and it sits on the skin beautifully. It goes over your foundation really nice. I love it, she knows what she's doing. So this Curl Refresher by Alike Naturals, it's my new favorite hair product of all time for myself. It really like perks up my curls. I can get away with not washing my hair for like seven or eight days. I recommend it to everybody with curly hair, no matter their ethnicity, no matter their hair type, like you can kind of find a mixture of water to product that's gonna work for you. I am obsessed with this stuff. So my last favorite sort of new to me product is this Intense Lip Therapy Lip Balm by Jack Black. It's a male grooming line, but I use it on men and women. It's a super sort of hydrating SPF, but still kind of matte lip balm. So like when you use it on guys, it doesn't look glossy. It just sort of looks like you have nice hydrated lips. And this flavor, grapefruit, like literally everybody I put it on, they are like, oh my God, what is that? That's so great. And I have to tell them about it and they fall in love. I really love makeup. I love being a makeup artist, I love what I do as a job. I think I get to kind of express my creativity through makeup on other people and then when it comes to myself, I kind of do the same thing every day. So this has kind of actually inspired me to use some of these things that I haven't touched in a while. I think three big takeaways from this day and from everything I've done here would be hygiene is really important, especially if you're a makeup artist, but even for your own personal makeup tools. Number two would be organization and condensing your products if you can. And number three would be wear sunscreen. Why get wrinkles if you don't have to?